Howdy, howdy. Hello. I am back on my bullshit, as it were. Uh, I've come out of whatever slump I was in for the past month, I guess, maybe more. Um, back to regular programming. Until next time. <laughs> uh, I'm going up city again, hence car chat, uh, because I want to. I know, it's crazy, it's absolutely wild. Um, I'm gonna go library, because I have to return books. Return books I got out ages ago. Uh, the Chain of Iron and Her Majesty's Royal Coven, I need to return those. Um, I don't think I'm gonna look around the library. I don't think I need to get any more books, because I'm currently having a really good time reading. Like, I've got the Arcana Chronicles and Fourth Wing, so I think I'm good. I might have a browse just for the sake of it, but I don't think I actually need to grab anything from there. Fourth Wing is being delivered today at some point, which I'm very, very excited about because uh, I started listening to it the other day at work because um, they had it on script, which was amazing. Uh, so I think I got to like chapter five. All I can hear is that helicopter. Anyway, I think I got to chapter four or five um, and then I stopped reading it because, well, listening to it, because I wanted to read it physically because apparently it gets good. Everyone I know has been talking about it, so... I'm very excited and I didn't want to just keep listening to it at work, so that one's been delivered tonight. Um, I think I'm going to pop into Waterstones just to see what they have, have a look around. It's been a while since I went in there, so maybe they'll have new special editions in that I don't know about, or just the vibes, you know? Sometimes it's nice just to go into Waterstones for the vibes, just to soak it all in as it were. Um, and then, I think... I am going to Cafe Nero or Starbucks, I think, uh, to do some sketching and some reading because while I don't have a need to be up city today, I'm going up anyway, um, and I'm staying till like half three, four, I think, to meet Erica, because Erica works in the city, so I'm going to stay up till that late and meet them, and then we're going to toddle off back home. <laughs> um, yeah. Who knows? I don't know where, I don't know which cafe to go into though. Cafe? Yeah, I don't know. Because I think I have a free Starbucks drink. But the Starbucks in City is really gross and I don't like it. It doesn't have good seating. Whereas the Cafe Nero has really nice seating. And I do like their coffee more than Starbucks. But this is just me being difficult. <laughs> as usual. Um, so yes. How fun regular programming again it's fucking crazy oh my god i finished day zero as well i persevered i pushed through it i just basically skim read it while i was cooking my dinner one evening uh and then i started arcana rising which was the fifth one fourth if you don't count day zero uh and i finished that so fucking quick it was intense i was gagged uh so i finished that one hella quick oh my god there's a spider in my car <laughs> Anyway, crisis. Um, yeah, I finished Arcana Rising so quickly. I think within like two days I finished that one because it was so fucking good. It was so intense. Ah, like, oh my God. Oh my God. It's like, <laughs> it's hard to talk about it without giving any spoilers in case anybody reads it because like if there's one series i would currently recommend to my grave it is arcana chronicles by kresley cole because i'm just having the best time reading it right now so 100 percent, i would recommend uh but arcana rising i think the main focus of that one was relationship dynamics and hella battle so that was basically the plot for that one, which was good. I'm now on to the sixth one. I cannot remember what it's called. I started the other one, like the one after it, last night, I think. Yeah, yesterday. Uh, it's not From the Grave, that's the last one. I can't remember. Anyway, I started that one yesterday. So hopefully I can plod through that one quite quickly today and tomorrow. Um, because it's so good like oh my god the ending for arcana rising oh, i was not prepared oh my god <sighs> we're gonna go up city we're gonna do the thing we're gonna be a nuisance 
is the idea. And then, yeah, we'll go from there. We're, yeah. Very loose plans today, but we take it. We move. It's fine. It'll be okay. <laughs> so, yes. Anyways, on we go.
I did the things, except I didn't do any sketching, um, purely because I spent too long just wandering around doing things, that by the time I actually went into Cafe Nero, uh, it was probably like an hour before I was gonna leave, so I just sat down and read. I just read a lot, um, which is fine. It was fine, it was cute. Anyway, uh, I said that I was going to the library. I didn't get anything out of the library. I did go, didn't get anything. Waterstones, however, that was a choice uh, because, oh no, I did a thing. It isn't that terrible though, because I did have, I want to say 25-ish pounds, I think, on my, um, on my card. So it wasn't that bad. Uh, it still wasn't great though. I got things I didn't need. But anyways, I thought I would show you for the funsies. Oh boy. So I got these two. I don't know if you can see them. But these two. Uh, this one's book one, this one's book two. Uh, a Fate of Flame. No. A Fate of Wrath and Flame and then A Curse of Blood and Stone. Very generic titles, I think, currently. Uh, but they sounded like they were going to be fun. They're fantasy romances, I think. Uh, so, yeah, it's vengeful gods and monsters, and love, and battles, and voyages, and adventure. So, I mean, we all know what these books are like basically A Court of Thorns and Roses, or From Blood and Ash, those kind of things. So, I got these. Uh, hopefully, they'll be good to read. I did look on Goodreads when I picked them up just to see what other people were saying about them and I think they will be my cup of tea. So, I think it's also enemies to lovers. We'll find out at some point together. So there's those two. This one as well, which is things I want to say but never did. Uh, I read A Million Kisses in Your Lifetime. I think it was that one. Uh, I read that one on Kindle Unlimited and I enjoyed it so much. I had such a good time reading that one that I saw this one in there next to it and I, I've been thinking about buying that one physically but I don't think I'm going to reread it so I'm not going to bother. So I saw this one and I thought oh my god is it like part two is there like a second book to how that one ended. There isn't this is just set in the same school but it's fucking massive. I got it purely because of how much I enjoyed a million kisses in your lifetime. A thousand kisses. And then the last one is this one which I think has the nicest cover out of all of them. This one does. I did, I've not heard a thing about this though. I didn't even know it existed until I was looking at the um, sci-fi and fantasy shelves in there. And I saw it and I was like, ooh, delicious. So, poetic, eerie and beautiful apparently. Uh, and I was sucked in instantly by what it says on the back. It says, if this is madness, she whispered almost against his lips, drown me in it. Fucking what? So instantly, yes. Sign me up. The main um, character's name is Corvina, which is a very nice la name. However, I keep hearing Corvornia in my head, which is a cough syrup. So I'm going to have to try and train my brain to not think that every time. So Gothica, the things I wanted to say, A Fate of Wrath and Flame, oh my god. And then A Curse of Blood and Stone. Yeah, so oopsie. Uh, I'm justifying this purely because I had money on my card, so I only paid £16, I think, and it's my birthday next week. So, uh, that's what I'm doing. Actually, no, it'll be- uh, my birthday would have already been by the time I upload this. <gasps> no, wait, it will be my birthday. How exciting. So yeah, uh, a whole bunch of things I didn't need. But it's fine, it's cute, it's whatever, it's okay. Uh, I will catch you when I next have something to say, because that is it from me, I think, currently. Toodles!
Hello, scruffy. It's fine. Uh, I'm about to go to work, which is this. Uh, but I have spent all day reading Fourth Wing by Rebecca Yaros. <gasps> oh my god, I cannot. I cannot. It's so freaking good. So good. I understand the hype for it now. Like, truly, I do. I, oh my god. I think, because like my physical copy came. And I had just been listening to it before then. And I think I'd only got up to chapter six, I think, listening to it before I was like, I'm going to stop and then I'm going to read it physically. I think I'm at like chapter 25 now or something like that. Like I've just been reading it for hours today because I am in deep, engrossed. It had me. I understand now what people were talking about when they said that they sat down and then finished it <laughs> like in one evening. I get it now. It is so freaking good. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. There hasn't even been any, like, romance at all yet, where I'm at anyway. Like, none. And usually I can only read books that quickly when there's romance there, because I'm a sucker for good happy times. But there hasn't been any. It's just been a lot of, like, world building and then, like, the day-to-day -day kind of thing of, like, being in this college and fighting for your bloody life, I guess. And I have just been hooked. Absolutely hooked. It is insane. Oh my god. Just gone to the point now where the actual dragon trial has like taken place. And that at like the, the whole build up to it, I guess. And oh my god, I am so excited just to get home from work and carry on reading. Like, oh my god. Oh my god. It's oh, it's just so good. And like, I'm not a massive one for dragons. Like, I haven't really read many books that have dragons in them. Um, but, like, the fact that the dragons themselves have their own, like, personalities and characteristics. Like, it's so cool. It's so interesting. I just, oh my god. I am hooked. Truly. Ah, and fucking Zayden. Like, his red flags be looking green, you know? 
you know? Ugh, I cannot. It's so freaking good. Like, the temptation I felt to phone in sick at work just that I could stay at home reading it and finishing it. Like, <laughs> oh my god. 100% I think I'm going to have to pre-order the second book. Wings of Iron or something. Because it's so fucking good. But yes, I 100% understand the hype for it now. Like, it's just incredible. Truly. Anyway, I'm going to go. I am, um, what time is it? It is 8.06. I am going to keep reading some more of this. I know I was just talking about Fourth Wing, but I am like this far into this one. So the chapters are really short. So I'm just going to read some more of that one. Thank you.